Again, Scott Steen from Elite Handicapper of Winners and Winners. I'm, I'm Truman Steen, the host over here at uh, twitch.tv slash Steen Machine for Steen versus Machine. Uh, you know, so let's let's start this off with a little bit of a recap. Um, let's look at how you did. Let's look at how you did in the past week. Let's look, look how I did past week. Uh, All right. So well, for, let's go to the big board, shall we? Yes. Yeah, so for last week's picks, I had you. Uh, you had the Lions plus three. Not a good pick. Not a great pick. Not great. Jacksonville, Cincinnati over forty nine and a half. No sweat. Great pick. Yep. Uh, Ravens minus thirteen and a half. Woo. Woo. Cash. Would they win by seventeen on that one? Uh, yeah. So it sounds about right. Sounds about right. Seventeen. Sounds about 17. right. Uh, I can even double check it here for you. Oh, I don't. It's seventeen it or eighteen. I think. No, it was fourteen. Oh, was it really covered by a half? <laughs> yeah, nice. by the skinnier thirty one seventeen. Uh, yeah, the Rams minus thirteen and a half. So did I. Woo! What a stinker. Uh, of course, I, I had him on a teaser too, so that that worked out okay. Uh, but yeah, that was just just dreadful. Just unable to get anything going against this Giants team. Couldn't get off the field on third down against a lousy offense. Just just a horrid, horrid, uh, uh, horrid game. And it's it's one of those things. It's kind of like the Chiefs game. If they if they if they end up playing anybody any better, uh, they don't win that game. Right, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. I thought the Chiefs. I thought the Chiefs looked terrible, but you had the Chiefs minus seven, and whew, that cash that was odd. And of course, that was the line before we knew Cam Newton was going to be out. That line eventually moved to thir- ten, oh, ten and a half. And I, and I told you at the time that I was going to play that. I was going to play it legit on the show. Right. You shot my I made that, that. I made that. I made that bet early in the week. It was return, no action. Um, as you know or may not know, all games have to go within. 24 hours of their original game time where it's, it's null and void. That's most, most gambling sites or most uh, casinos are going to be that way. Mm-hmm. So I would, uh, I legitimately stayed with the chiefs minus 10 and a half. So if the chiefs would have won by seven, I would have counted this as a loss. Uh, you know, and I appreciate that it ended up not mattering after that pick six. I, I'll tell you what, though, no. you, you were what, 10 and a half and Har- and Harrison Bucker missed that, mixed that, missed that extra point. It put him up nine. And I was like, Oh, that could be big. I was like, that could be yeah. massive. I was I was aware that would matter. Yeah. Yeah. So. But in the uh, end, yeah, it, it ended up not costing. It ended up not costing us. So. Nope. Uh, of course, I had the 49ers minus seven, another stinker of a pick, and you know I normally try to stay away from the ones where, where the quarterback is new or something, and I just forget my own rules at times. There's times I, I tell myself not to bet on Thursday or Monday night games, and then I bet on them, and they and they blow up in my face, and then so. It's going great here. Uh, the Colts minus two and a half. That was easy. I, I, you know, and I thought I told everybody all week that I thought I thought they were going to blow the Bears out of the water. I thought the Bears weren't very good. I thought the Bears, you know, that while they were three and zero, I thought they were incre- extremely overrated. I think I told everybody it felt a lot about the like the twenty thirteen Chiefs that started off the season nine and zero, and then they ran into that ran into an eight one Denver team in week ten and just got the got the doors blown off. So. Right, and that was a weird season for the day. That was the season they ended up facing a bunch of second and third string quarterbacks, where the guys just happened to get hurt like the week before they faced the Chiefs. And right, and they were winning by like field goals. They were like mm-hmm. every game was close, but they won every single game by like one score. And you're like, this isn't, this something's not right here. Doing it, doing it with mirrors is what they were doing. Yeah, so. and uh, then I had the Panthers money line. Uh, that cash, that was a that was a great great pick. Uh, one that I was you know. I think I think when I first picked it out, I was like, "Man, is that really what that says?" And you know, and then it ended up, uh, you know, they beat the Cardinals by ten. I, I mean, wh- why do I ever doubt the spreadsheet? That's the question. Well, the reason I yeah, I, I, I uh, I'm not sure what we saw there. I'm not sure if we saw a Cardinals team that wasn't as good as we thought they were after after the first three weeks, or if there's a, if it's a Panthers team that's a little better than their record would indicate. I think I think it's a I think it's, I think this offense is starting to come together. Uh, you know they they brought the cat in from uh, from LSU that ran Joe Burrow's offense last year. Yeah, and I think it takes a while for that system, especially you know it's it's really hard. You've got you've got new talent everywhere, um, and it's I think it's really hard to implement a n- brand new offensive scheme with very little real world practice. Um, certainly with no preseason games, you know. So uh, you, it's going to be a work in progress for this Panthers team, but they may not be they may not be as bad as we think. Uh, yeah. Cotton Murray continued to be not good. Uh, wasn't as dreadful as he was the week before against against Detroit, but wasn't wasn't as bad. 
um, but still wasn't nearly good enough to get it done against this uh, Carolina Panthers team. So, right, definitely got some, definitely got some more work, more work ahead of them. Uh, you know, and I'm with you. I, I think we covered this on the the podcast that I do with Owen Dom on Tuesdays. Uh, Dom, that's true. Uh, we y'all right there? Hmm. Y'all right there? I'm trying to suppress a yawn. Oh, I was like, what's going on? Uh, great. Now I'll probably yawn just because we talked about it. But uh, you know, there you go. When we uh, I, I I think the I think the Panthers are a little underrated. I think they they lost a close game versus Oakland week one. Then they lost to Tampa Bay, I believe, the following week, and then everybody just kind of wrote them off and forgot. And they've quietly got two pretty quali- pretty good wins, pretty quality wins right now under their belt. You know, I'm not saying they're I don't think they'll win the AFC South, but I think I think they'll certainly compete. Um, and, and I'm not gonna lie to you, Scott. I last week I I don't believe I had as many picks on the spreadsheet, and I think my mind was playing tricks on me because I, I look back on it, I don't think either of these. Well, no, I think the Bills should have been picked, but I don't actually think I should have picked the Rams here, but I did, and you know, so. I'll, I'll hold it honest. I did tired eyes and just m- messed it up there. But the Ram- I I'll said the Rams minus 13 and a half, just like you. Uh, terrible pick. Absolutely awful. I, yeah, I told I told you at the time, I, you know, I, I, I hate playing big spreads like that. And I ended up playing two of them. One of them wins by half a point. The other one really never got close. You know, that was a weird game. The Rams uh, marched right down the field to start the game. And... And then uh, absolutely stuffed the Giants. You're like, well, that's exactly the way I thought this would go. Yeah. And then the wheels came off. It's like that team went away. Yeah. And there was, was a field goal after field goal. And yeah. Like, let, you know, like they're replaced by the around. 2004 Rams or something. Yeah. I think the, the Giants pulled within two, and I was like, oh, we're, we're fucked. <laughs> like, with, yeah. like, going into the fourth quarter, I'm like, that's it. It's like, what is going on? I was like, why are we even here? Uh, but I did play the Bills minus three and a half, and they, you know, they cashed. They took care of business. Against Las Vegas, there I didn't really have much much doubt the Bills were going to win. So honestly, three and a half is not a terrible spread there. They win by I think seven. I think they get it done. But uh, so you know, so Raiders are not good, by the way. No, the Raiders aren't good, and uh, I don't. It'll be interesting to see what happens this weekend as we've seen the Chiefs kind of play play down to uh, opponents. I would say they've kind of. I believe they're closing the playbook a lot and not running all their plays and saving a lot of the trick plays and the fun plays for teams that matter and that they need them for. So I think I think that's a lot what's happening. Um, I expect that to probably happen against Las Vegas this weekend as well. So the game will I probably be somewhat close. Like semi semi preseason games. Yeah. Uh, I think they're using them for conditioning and uh, doing just enough to win. Yeah, and I think I think they're. Yeah, I just I, I think they're going to get caught in one of these at some point. But yes, I yes know, they, they they usually do. I'm hoping it's not this one. And you know, uh, I don't know if either of us have picks on this, but a little fun fact about that game that uh, I think we both learned today is that Derek Carr's never been an Arrowhead before December since he became since the quarter since he became the quarterback of the loss of the what at the time was the Oakland Raiders now the Las Vegas Raiders. They've never played at Arrowhead first and then then played their home game. They always played the home game early in the year. The Chiefs get the game right. at Arrowhead later in the year, which always would put it in the, in uh, late or would always put it in December. Does that, that make does that makes a ton of sense? Because you, you know the weather's about the same in Kansas City as it is in September as it is in December. That's what I've heard. Uh, That's what I remember. So it's that never like made Oakland. any sense it's, to me about like why Oakland you why you play in Oakland early. And then playing Kansas City late, that was the, the dumbest thing ever when you should be playing Oakland, right. you know, when it's 55, 60 degrees in December. No. Nope. Too but easy. That's not the way it went. So. Makes too much sense. Uh, right. Okay. So what does that so that, what does that bring us to? And, again, I don't I don't know if I'll do the math on the spot. I don't know if I'll try to do the math on the spot just like I did last week. Uh, just kind of explain everything. Uh, so, again, you went so – so you won three bets, right? You I did. Won your, you won your three bets. That's plus 300 yes. for you. You lost two yes. bets at both at minus one ten, so that put you at yes. minus two twenty. Gives us a, a net of of plus eighty. Boom, three and two plus eighty. Add Correct. That, add that to your season record. You're up to three thirty, and you're nine and six. Good. Okay. Are, we, are we good there? Are we both <laughs> all good on the math? Uh, no, I, I was uh, I was nine. Wait a minute, I was. Well, that's right, because I stayed at sixty uh, percent. So yeah, you're right. I was I, I was gonna say I was sixty percent before last week, and I was sixty no, percent. No, something's so. wrong. Hold on. No, hold on. Something is wrong. Your that math doesn't check out. 
I'm not sure I updated the total. Hold on. I'm not sure I, I updated. I wanted to say it was 9 and 6 last after last week. I think you're right. I think that's How, I think that's that was only week because, 4. How well, is that possible? Right, that doesn't add up to 20. <laughs> no, it's not going to add up to oh, oh no, that's right. Oh, we were doing 5 games. So 5 games, 5 games, 4 weeks. Yes, no, you are. You're 12 and 8. Sorry, you're not you're not, not 6 and you're not 9 and 6. You're 12 and 8. 12 and 8. Okay. Right. All right. So 60% however you slice it. Right. So then if we look at mine, again, I was so I had I had those five bets. Uh, the bets that I lost were both minus 110. So I lost. I was minus 220. But the I hit two bets at even odds for that would put me at 200. And then I had the Panthers game, which put me at 148. So I had 348 minus 220. Put me at plus 128. I'm three and two. Yep. Add that to my totals. I'm now at nine and eleven for the season. Not a great omen there. Uh, never forget. Um, How profitable? And what's your what's your dollar loss? I'm net. I'm I'm I'm, I'm at minus two hundred two right now. I'm I'm closing it in. You know, again, I, I stayed I stayed afloat when I had my bad weeks. I, I haven't had a catastrophic catastrophically bad week yet. And again, I, you know, I I I bet you feel the same way here. When we do these picks, I'd much rather battle get three and two, four and one, five and zero. Oh. I'd much rather us be up here than battling uh, like we were last week where I was two and three and you were one and four. And I was like, huzzah. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know, it's like the special Olympics, hundred meter dash, right? Fastest, fastest horse to the glue factory pretty much. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I was minus two Oh two, uh, nine and 11. So, you know, not, you know, I made up a little bit of ground on you, Again, you know, benefit of taking some money lines. Uh, then you know plus plus 48 not bad not bad making up shipping away shipping away not bad not bad at all but not bad at all no but better than being minus 250 if i wouldn't have fit that money line it would have just been a normal bet so uh you know so normally normally take the time to do the power rankings here uh i just i, I feel like it kind of lets the show drag a bit when we do that so i think we're just going to kind of r- rotate right into it and just keep on just keep steamrolling right ahead not the uh, not not the incredibly crisp pace that we've set so far. Right. Yes. Yes. As as we are very focused, very always straight ahead. Being you, our our, our break our break our breakneck uh, look back at last week's action is screeched to a halt. So right. Um, who's number one in your power rankings, bud? Number one. It's actually still Pittsburgh because. Okay. But again, like as as we go through. Every uh, teams get worse, right? Teams that have had hot starts don't have perfect games every week. And you sound like Chris Rock there for a second. As we go through, the teams get worse. Teams get worse, yes. And so Pittsburgh not playing last week kind of kept them higher than I'd expect they'll be next week. They kept their score higher than I would expect. Uh, right. But, uh, so top, top. So so if we just, I'll give you the top five here. I'll I'll give it to you. Strength of schedule wise and not strength of schedule wise, I won't I won't put it up on the screen, but we can do it real quick. Um, strength of schedule wise, uh, I need to not sort this by alpha alphabetical order. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, you ever asked one of those questions? You're immediately sorry you asked it. Top five: Pittsburgh, Green Bay, Kansas City, Seattle, Indianapolis. Okay. I'm not you know, right. I'm not ashamed of that top five. I think. Of course, everyone's always going to question Indianapolis being up there, but now they're three and one. I was telling you guys weeks ago, get on the Indianapolis man. It was a week two, week two. I was on Indianapolis over Minneapolis. Now, Minnesota. Philip Rivers, is, if Philip Rivers is on the bandwagon, he's most likely going to fall off and twist his ankle. So. I'm actually, I actually have a pick against the Colts this week. So as much as I have mm-hmm. to praise for my uh, spoiler alert, Truman. Spoiler alert. I know, I know, but again, so Pittsburgh was. Uh, so Pittsburgh is still top of the rankings. I believe they'll go down. Um, so what I what I do have now though, and I'll probably and, and I, I haven't implemented this into my betting system yet. It'll probably go in next week. Uh, I like to have a little bit, uh, f- a few more weeks for this, but it's the strength of schedule ranking. So we adjust, so we go through and then we need, we adjust every team based on strength of schedule, where the worst team gets a, a multiplier of one, and then everybody else's uh, strength of schedule gets divided by that number and they get a multiplier of plus whatever so once that strength of schedule has been applied kansas city is actually number one oddly enough new the new orleans saints are at number two very interesting 
uh, Green Bay number three, Dallas number four, and Seattle number five. A lot of questions there. Uh, that's why I would never just use the strength schedule. I like to have a little bit of both. Sometimes strength schedule doesn't tell the whole story, and especially not this early. That's why I generally wait. Like the like the the second week, like the Giants were like number three, and I was like, okay, that's not right. So you gotta let the strength of schedule just get it further along. But we're getting there. It's getting it's getting its purpose done. Kansas City's number one. Uh, they're probably the best team in the NFL. I feel like probably, you know, when they when when they decide to play, they're the best team in the NFL. When they don't play, they're not. Right. You're right. You're true, absolutely true right. True words were never spoken. When the, if they want to be the best, they'll be the best. If they don't want to be the best, they will not be the best. Hot takes. Hard to argue with that. Though. Hard to argue. 